Hey guys, welcome back to Legit Streetcars and welcome to the Christmas Subaru giveaway video. So in my last Subaru video, I had mentioned that I thought it'd be a better idea to give this car to a Subaru enthusiast in need rather than the original plan, which was a family in need. I thought it'd be cool to give a family a nice family station wagon, but the short of it is, this car just isn't that reliable. After getting to know the Outback mechanically and speaking with Subaru experts and reading comments from longtime Subaru enthusiasts, everybody agreed that I'd be handing over a car and a never ending bill. I mean, if these are the receipts from mile one to its current mileage of 128,000 miles, I could only imagine what's in store for this Subaru over the next few years, even after I replace everything. And these receipts just aren't for oil changes. A lot of these are big time repairs and they cost a lot of money. So I teamed up with my friends at Six Star Motorsports in Schaumburg, Illinois and the Chi-Town Subaru Club to find a Subaru enthusiast in need and boy oh boy did we find an amazing person. His name is Lincoln, they call him Link for short and in this video I'm going to be surprising him with the Outback at his monthly Subaru car meet. But before we get to that and detailing this car, here are some words from some of Link's closest car friends. Lincoln has been an amazing man throughout the Subaru community. He puts in a lot of work. Everybody knows him, loves him, and will do anything for him. Link is one of the most active members in the Chi-Town Subaru community. He's always willing to help volunteer at events for us or help with the Subaru love events for charities and just anything in the Chicago area. He's very knowledgeable about Subarus and has had some horrible luck with his SVXs, but he keeps dedication to the brand and to the SVX and is fully embracing the Subaru community. Hey all, Mark from Six Star. We're asked who would deserve the Subaru that he's been working on. And I gotta be honest, Lincoln was the first guy that came to mind. He's involved with everything. He puts his time and effort and heart into everything. And he's an amazing guy, amazing person, super, super humble like the, the one of the greatest hearts uh, you'll ever be able to come across and just a lot of love for this guy. It's an honor and a pleasure to be able to work on a car and be able to help somebody else get what they deserve in life. And Lincoln is definitely that guy. Now Link's passion has always been with the 90s Subaru SVX and he's had a few of them, but to say he's had bad luck with these cars is a massive understatement. Most of them have been totaled out for reasons out of his control and most recently, one burned to the ground at his home parking lot. Although he's been dealt a bad Subaru hand, he's the first one to volunteer for many local charity events, including the Subaru Share the Love events and various toy drives. Link is pretty well known in these parts for his love for Subarus, but even more so for his love to help others. So yeah, Link is awesome and I cannot wait to give him this car. So without further ado, we have to get it prepared for the giveaway and that requires some wheels. So let's go over to the wash bay where Jason from Chicago Auto Pros is making these things look perfect. All right, so this is what the wheels looked like before. Pretty nasty, pretty grimy. And this is what they look like now. So Jason from Chicago Auto Pros, he's donating his time and some products into detailing this car. And we had the wheels off, so we had to start here. Yeah. And you guys know I get uh, local businesses together for these car giveaways. So it's really nice to have them back at Legit Street Quarters to make this Subaru look nice again. It's kind of kind of gross right now. <laughs> Let's get him back on the car and uh, clean the rest of it up. All right, he's, he's ready to go. <laughs> he doesn't mess around here. Oh, Jason, one, one thing. Uh, it doesn't run. Oh, why? Man, I didn't finish it. It needed a lot of work. It's not that reliable. So we actually have to push this car into the detail bay. All right. It's normal. It's totally normal. It's a Subaru. It's a Subaru thing. <laughs> yep. It's not that bad. It rolls, it rolls nicely. Let me tell you. 
All right guys, so unfortunately I was not able to finish all of the mechanical repairs on the Subaru. I'm still going to finish them all, but my goal was to make it to the Christmas Subaru meet to give this car away to Link, and I'm still gonna do that. I'm gonna hand him the keys and the title, and then we're coming back to legit street quarters to surprise him with a very clean car. So with that, we gotta get to cleaning this car. There's a lot of work to do, so let me show you what we're gonna be using. All right, so here's everything we're gonna be using for the D detail portion of this video and I'm so excited to show you these products because the guys at Chicago Auto Pros have been testing them for months. I've seen them in action and they are truly amazing. So lithium products are made right here in the United States in Utah. This car wash soap is so good. It makes the best suds and they guarantee it's the best car wash soap you'll ever use or your money back. So we're gonna start off by washing the car and then we're gonna use a ceramic spray. These are some of the interior products we're gonna use and then this tire conditioner and dressing is awesome. It doesn't get all over the car. It's really good stuff. And Lithium and the guys at carsuppliesweharehouse.com are gonna donate the entire Lithium lineup to Link so he can keep his Subaru looking brand new forever. So he's gonna get what you see here and everything you see here. And the best part is you guys can get 15% off the entire Lithium lineup by going to carsuppliesweharehouse.com or by clicking on my link in the video description box and using coupon code LEGIT15. It's going to get you 15% off of everything. You guys are going to love these products and I'm just going to let them speak for themselves in this video. So let's get to work. That stuff is like thick. Yeah. This is nice. This stuff is so good. It's super thick and it smells delicious. Well, you know what that is. It's infused with essential oils and eucalyptus, which gives it that really nice smell. And then it conditions the paint. It's not gonna strip it of anything. This stuff is awesome. I love it. Missed a spot, Jason. <laughs> Dude, this thing is getting a bath. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at the bucket of suds. This is the first wash, I think, in like two years at this point. It was wow. sitting outside for about 18 months. Okay, while Jason's washing the car, I gotta polish out these headlights. I think they can look so good. They're not horrible. They're definitely not the worst I've ever seen, but we can make these look crystal clear with just a little bit of wet sanding and buffing. All right, so we're gonna start off with a little 1500 grit sandpaper. Everything is nice and lubricated. Let's do this. So the idea here is that we're exfoliating the top layer of the headlight so it develops a yellow film. That's what this chalky stuff is. And right now we are removing it with the 1500 grit sandpaper. And you'll see here as I wipe this stuff off in between passes that it's actually gonna look pretty dull. But all these little micro scratches that you see are gonna be removed once we get to the polishing stage. Jason's clay bar in the car right now before we get to the ceramic spray. Yeah. A little bit on there, huh? Nice. Gotta love it. All right, so we're gonna hit this with some coarse compound and a coarse foam pad. All right, so I think we're only gonna need to do one final pass with the fine compound and the fine foam pad because this is already looking so good. All right. Okay, last step, fine polish, fine pad. This thing's gonna look new. All right, here we 
go. Let's see what we have here. Well, first off, we have a little spider that died long, long ago inside of this headlight housing. But at least now he's got a very good looking home, crystal clear. This looks so good, especially with the projector headlight in there. So I'll do the other side and we are all done with the headlights. I gotta say, this looks pretty good for a broken car. It's looking very good, but we're gonna do one last step on the exterior. We're not doing a full on polish with this. We're just gonna protect it here with Ceramic Slam. This is six to eight months of SiO2 protection, and it's super easy to use. We actually switched over at Chicago Auto Pros because it's so easy to use. This is our basic protection that we use on any basic detailing. Very easy to use. We're gonna spray it into one towel. I'm literally gonna do a thin layer on the entire car, and then let it sit for five minutes, and I'm gonna use a second towel just to wipe it off. That easy. This stuff smells good too. Yeah. It's like cologne. <laughs> this is unbelievable. All right, so Jason and I are working as a team. So while he's spraying the car down, I'm going to remove these WeatherTech floor mats and we're gonna pressure wash these and start cleaning up the interior. And although the interior is kind of dirty, it's in really good condition. So the leather seats aren't torn. The steering wheel, although it's really dirty, I think will clean up. And that is a brand new dash pad. There was a recall on the dash pad, so Subaru replaced the entire thing for free. Now that these are rinsed off, we're just gonna use a little bit of the lithium all-purpose. With the plastic floor mats all cleaned up, I'll let these dry while we tackle the rest of the interior. All right, so Jason's all done with the ceramic slam. So the exterior of this car, outside of some tire shine, is complete. We're moving on to the interior. Ooh, and you brought this guy. Ah, it's my favorite. This thing is awesome. We use this on the gray leather seats in the Lexus that we gave away, and it made them look really good. They were horrible. They'd never been cleaned before, so I'm excited to use this. And right now we're gonna be starting off with the all-purpose, right? Yep. Cool. We're gonna vacuum and blow it out first, and then we'll clean dash and rubber with the all-purpose. Get something to eat there? <laughs> You think that can just be cleaned or you, or you think the leather is damaged? No, I think uh, it'll be clean, but there's only one way to find out. You can already see the dirt in the suds. Wow. Oh, that really cleaned it. Yeah. Wow, look at that. I thought it was worn out. No, it's just years of buildup of you know, all the nasty skin and makeup. So we have a good before and after. This looks really smooth as if the leather is just worn out, but it's not. You can see the grains right back in the leather after cleaning it to a little tape line. Wow, this steering wheel is gonna look brand new. Horn works. <laughs> One thing that works on this car right now. <laughs> Got a good horn. Another reason why I love this cleaner is because it doesn't have solvents on it. So you see these, this white lettering on these controls here. A lot of times if you use a solvent cleaner cleaning this, because you want it to clean, um, it'll literally remove that white lettering. And this is soft enough not to remove that, but also harsh enough to get it clean and all that gross dead skin off. And I gotta leave that in neutral. Okay. 
That blower is so good. Mm -hmm. Like if you don't have compressed air in your shop, this is totally enough. Yep. I can't believe how good that is. It works better than compressed air actually. It, it really, it seems like it because it fans out more. And it's filtered, so it works great on the exterior of the car. Comes with different attachments if you want to use them. But... Wait, it's filtered air? Yeah, it's filtered air. No way. Yeah, it's filtered. That's crazy. This is a leather cleaner and conditioner. I don't know if you can smell it, but it smells like leather. So it's in a clean and condition the leather at the same time, um, which is nice. I like easy, making two steps into one. And it's nice and foamy here. Just to clean it, we're using our magic leather cleaning brush here. Just spray a little directly on your, your brush. And if I forget to mention a product you guys see during this detail, don't worry, it'll be linked down below. Yeah. We're using so many cool things. This is slather. Slather, that's what it's Bio called. BioClean. Nice. Leather cleaner and conditioner all in one. I love the fact that it foams up. Jason, with the light behind you, you're like the cleaning Jesus right now. <laughs> <laughs> so you see all these little perforations. Somebody must have spilled something in there. Toothpick works nice. You had this pick that'll work real nice and just kind of you don't want to push it down too far, but just loosen it up. Get all that nastiness out of there. Link, you better be happy, brother. <laughs> yeah, we're poking out about a hundred little dots of dirt for you. This is like playing that one gopher game where you're hitting <laughs> each one in the head. <laughs> just loosen it all up. Like coffee or something. Look at that. So now it's loose, we'll be able to blow it out. Kind of a tedious job. Yeah, a little bit. That's why they call it detailing. All right, I'm gonna continue with this while Jason's cleaning up the back seat area. This can definitely take a long time. These perforated seats can be kind of a pain in the butt. No pun intended. All right, here's another 10 minutes worth of poking the little perforation holes. I think this is about as good as it's gonna get. Link, enjoy your perforated seat. We have a few stains in the carpet that I'm gonna try and get up. A little bit of all-purpose and the drill brush. And that's all she wrote. This works really well. And we're gonna vacuum this up again, but this usually does a pretty good job of removing most stains on carpets. All right, I just got done with the carpet on the driver's side. I used the vacuum, so everything we agitated with this brush, we were able to suck up and there are no more stains. It's looking pretty good. All right, well, Jason is cleaning the interior. I am gonna be cleaning up this glass with special glass cleaning mitts. What do you, what do you got going on here, Jason? Uh, this is the last step on the rubber and plastics. This is interior space. It's a conditioner for the dash. It has a UV inhibitor in it. Is that what smells so good? Yeah, it smells really oh. good. Yeah, and it's not gonna leave it greasy. It just leaves a nice sheen and protects all the plastics and everything. And then use a nice, clean, dry microfiber and just buff it off. And I'll leave it a nice, natural look. Try to get a half and a half of your shot for you guys. That's nice. I hate when like little used car lots will just goop the slime all over everything. Yeah. <laughs> this gives it like that factory satin finish. It's just clean. Yep. It smells fantastic. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> guys, I wish you could smell what we're smelling right now. This stuff smells so good. I'm gonna use this on all of my cars, just simply for the smell. Uh, this is one of the hardest things to show you guys on camera. I'm trying to get a good angle, but it's clear. It's clear and clean, so <laughs> I guess that's a good thing. And I gotta say, I learn a new trick every time Jason and I do one of these detail videos together. I just thought you would use a paper towel and glass cleaner on glass, but apparently not. Okay, here, look at this glass. Pretty nasty right now, you can see that. And look at it now, no chemicals whatsoever, just about 30 seconds with the special window mitts and it's crystal clear. You can see that it's faded and I don't know what was spilled on there, but I think we can make it look a little bit better. What is this? I don't know. Is it a wiper blade? I think it's oh, awesome. it is, wow. Yeah, let's definitely not use these wiper blades yet. I got new ones. All right, cool. I got new ones, Blake, don't worry. Leave that one there. <laughs> Uh, but this is uh, trim serum. This will restore any plastic areas like the collie or bumpers or any exterior trim that you have. I'm just going to use this brush to apply it and then I'll let it sit for a few minutes and then come back with the microfiber and wipe it off. Ooh, it's, it's gooey. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow. 
So after a couple minutes, he's just buffing off the excess and he's already done this side. So this is what it looks like after. Man, this thing really needs wipers. Even the back one is scraping against the glass. Not good. All right, we're finishing this off with some tire shine. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> Wheelie great. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I always have a hard time finding a good tire shine and we've used this on a couple of my cars now. I didn't know that's what it was called. <laughs> and it doesn't splatter all over the side of the car when you drive away. It lasts for a long time too. It's on my Tesla and it's been at least a month and they still look really good. All right, we're all done with the interior. Floor mats are back in. Everything is treated, including the dash and the leather seats. And Jason did such a good job. This thing is practically spotless. So this is what the driver's side carpet area looked like before. And this is what we have after. And I think Link is gonna be really happy with the interior on the Subaru. This is gonna make such a nice daily driver. We cleaned up the headliner as well. It's looking nice. This has a panoramic sunroof also. I don't think the back seat has ever been sat in, but it's cleaned and conditioned. Nonetheless, looking amazing. I didn't think we were gonna get that steering wheel as clean as it is, but it looks great. The center console looks amazing. The seats, everything. This interior is done. I love this color. I'm so glad we buffed out the headlights. Look at this guy. This is gonna be Link's new all-wheel drive Subaru daily driver. That's all he drives anyway, but now he gets to put away his toy and beat around in this thing, you know, after I get it to run again. All right, so this is now the cleanest and most broken Subaru around. Jason, you did a fantastic job once again. Thank you so much. Thank you, I appreciate you having me over here. I got a gift for you too. Get out of here. Yeah. Are you serious? Everybody should have one of these. It's uh, awesome. <laughs> I've wanted one of these forever. These are the best. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Jason. Thank you. <laughs> That'll do it with Jason, guys. If you guys want to check out any of the products we used in this video, everything will be linked down below. Don't forget the legit 15 coupon code. Save some money. That's right. Thank Absolutely. you, sir. Appreciate it. Awesome. All right, guys, it's the next evening, and I am at the Chi Town Subaru Meet. We're at a Moretti's restaurant, and my inside guy just let me know that Link has arrived. So, this giveaway is drastically different from my others because I don't physically have a car to give him. So, my plan at this moment is to surprise him with the keys and the title, and then uh, I got to lure him back to my shop, which is only like 10 minutes away, to show him how beautiful his new car is. So anyway, that's my plan. I'm going in. Wish me luck. Okay, hang on. Before I go in, I got to show you guys the Christmas Subaru. And here is a parking lot filled with Subarus. Most of them probably have issues, but these are the dedicated ones. All right, guys, I'm not going in just yet. I had to check out some of the cars in the parking lot. The guys are hanging out here, but this is Lynx SVX right here. He drives this year round hasn't had the best luck with these guys, but he's obsessed with these cars. And I don't think something like this should be driven in the winter. These are pretty rare. All right, guys, I just met Mr. I'm sorry, what's your name? Link. Link, there we go, Link. And he is the proud owner of, what year is this thing? 94. 94 SVX. How many have you had? Uh, this is my sixth one. What? Wow. And you drive this often, or is yeah, it like a garage really, queen? My only it's your daily driver? Yeah. Wow, it's not a Chicago car though, it looks too nice. No, uh, it's, uh, it's from uh, Bakersfield, California. Chicago. Has it ever seen a Chicago winter? This is the first Chicago winter it's gonna see. And, and it hasn't snowed yet, so it technically hasn't seen it. Right. So there's still something you can you know, do about this. Um, looking, <laughs> looking forward to doing something. <laughs> well, you should probably get a, a cheap beater. <laughs> this thing's too nice. Oh man, all right, let me, let me show everybody what you got here. This thing is gorgeous though. Wow, it's straight as an arrow. And these, I mean, these can rust out, right? Like, yeah, if you don't take, uh, I mean, uh, uh, decent care of them, it, it's gonna. Man, I hate to see this sloshing around in the salt, Link. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but it's a beautiful car, though. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the best I can to take take decent care of them. Right. Uh, I belong to the SVX Club, SVX Nation, and what we are doing is we are campaigning to uh, Subaru to put the SVX back into production. Well, I'll sign that petition. Right, Send it over. Hey, just, just go to uh, svxnation.com and uh, the petition right there at the bottom. Oh, okay, you guys already, yeah. you guys got it going on. Oh, yeah. Well, you know what, you know, they, they love doing retro cars, so there's a possibility something like this could come back. No, looking forward to it. Yeah, and then that would make this thing worth yeah. a lot of money. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, cool, I appreciate it, Link. Thank no you very problem. much. It was 
Good to meet you. Yeah, nice and you I'm going to go in there and eat with you guys. So cool. I'll be hanging out. All right, guys, we're back at Legit Street Porters. I could not do it at the restaurant. It was too loud. So I invited a few of these guys here. And Link came. Link, what do you think of this Mercedes right here? I had to replace a $1 O-ring on this engine. It took 50 hours of labor to do it. They are a yeah, that total sense. nightmare. 50 yeah. hours. That, yeah, that, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, <laughs> welcome to the world of Mercedes, right? right. <laughs> you see how clean this thing is? One owner. Yeah, that's a Subaru Outback. It's a one owner, 128,000 miles. That's a Wales Fair Sport Utility Wing. <laughs> <laughs> we just detailed it. It's the cleanest broken car ever because I'm not done with it. <laughs> so it's got no intake manifold. It's laying on the ground. And uh, yeah, but it's got a new turbo, power steering pump, harmonic balancer brakes with calipers and everything and it is uh it's almost there i think it one day will be someone's perfect daily driver probably some probably somebody in cts yeah somebody shot down super hopefully yeah it's no five which is the first year of the turbo right for the uh, see i'm learning i'm learning this is something you should get something like this for a daily driver and still so, subaru because you don't want that salt to ever hit that beautiful California SVX just perfection. <clears throat> I need a garage to put it in though. Huh? I wish I had a garage to put it in. But you yeah. don't need a garage for something like this. It's an outback. It's, it's meant to be off-roaded and abused and driven in the salt. Right? You park it on you park it on the street, you, it's got look, it's got a couple dents on it, so it, it looks mint, but it's not. Right. So what do you think if this thing was yours? Would you drive it? Yeah. It'd be good for getting getting errands. Would you Would you daily this thing? It'd be good for dailies. Yeah. You still park it next to uh, you? Uh, no, a, a car that's going to catch fire. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, that's I'm a saying. good idea. Don't park it next to cars that catch Since fire. Since you know Subarus so well, you, you know how finicky they are. They always need a little bit of something, some love yeah. every once in a while. I, I, I know. People you know a little bit about that? Well, yeah, I know. I know a place that can <laughs> take care of it. Do a little bit of the maintenance, oh, right. keep it keep it going forever and ever. Oh yeah, ever. yeah, yeah. They do a good job at the, this place I go to. Oh, we gotta find we gotta find a new home for this thing. Mm -hmm. right. I was actually kind of hoping the new home would be yours. I got a title here. Yeah, the title. And Where's I have this is one of five sets of keys. And uh, keys? I I have you have to have five owners. No, <laughs> one owner. <laughs> one owner. This guy. I'd like this car to be yours, though, Link. Sorry for playing dumb the whole time, but I've, I've kind of known about you for a while from these guys. And uh, they let me know you spend a lot of time helping other people and charity work and part of the Subaru community and that you're driving this one car all year round. I'll get back to you. <laughs> but I'd like to give you this car. What do you think? I'd like to get back to you. <laughs> I know it's a little weird. Yeah, I know it's weird. It is weird. <laughs> But oh, we're, we're all of them. Oh, <laughs> they all did. So not all of them are in on this. Not all of them are in on this. It was no, but seriously, like I know that these cars can be, you know, they're finicky. They need yeah. some love. So I wanted this car to go to a longtime Subaru enthusiast and someone that maybe was daily drive. I know so many of you guys daily drive these cars because they're all wheel drive and it can be done. But yours are so rare that especially they told me you're, this new one is from California and you've had so much bad luck with the other ones that I thought that it'd be really cool if you had a daily that was of course a Subaru. You know, so, stay in touch with that. Um, um, I was given this Subaru. car. One of my... We're trying to give this away. <laughs> We're trying to give this to the guy so they... that we know is the OG in the Chi-Town Subaru community. And just to let you know, someone gave me this car. I, I didn't buy it. Someone gave me this car because they know that I fix up cars on the channel and then I eventually pass them along to someone that might need a car. And it being a Subaru and talking with Mark and knowing that you know these types of cars require a little bit of maintenance, I wanted to give it to an enthusiast that might need it daily, but that also understands kind of like what goes into owning an older Subaru. And they all said, Link is the guy. <laughs> He's had so many older Subarus. And, and then, you know, you, it'd be something you could keep going and enjoy and keep your baby finally pristine yeah. and not burned to the ground or smashed or keep corroded. Yeah, so seriously, I want, I want you to have the car. Please take the car. 
It's a beautiful when car. You get it, man. It's still broken. I'm gonna finish it. I promise. <laughs> Lincoln, what would stop you? I'll get it. I'll get in touch with you. Um, let me know. Okay. What's going on with the with the, with the floor repairs? And, uh, okay. I'll talk to you. All right. Cool. Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Cool. And you are the most you're, deserving dude. You're always at the events. You're yeah. always one of the first ones that volunteer your time. I mean, you you do pour so much of yourself into the community that. You, you deserve something like this as, I guess, a thank you. A thank you. Yes. Just, yeah, take, yeah. just, just take the damn yeah. <laughs> Guys, I've never had a gift. This is. I've never had anyone say no to a car, but Link is. Uh, he's a very humble guy, and it's a lot. I mean, it's just. It's kind of weird. It is. It will not start. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't don't say that. It will. It has no intake manifold. Or, or anything, so. We're trying to help you out. We want to be able to give you something because you've been giving back to us for so long. I've known you for I tell you what, why don't you come and help me finish it up? It still needs a bunch of work. You help me come finish the car and it's yours. It was given to me because the guy that gave it to me knew I was going to find someone who would love it again. And I, you know. I'll talk to you. Okay. No, we'll talk. All right. I'll, I'll, All right. I'll talk to you. I'll be in touch with you. All right, guys. Everybody left, and uh, at this point in time, I'm not exactly sure how to feel. Like, it's a weird sense of rejection, sort of. Um, I was not expecting someone to say no to a free car. That was not supposed to happen. Uh, but I think you guys probably knew what was going on just by looking at Link's face. Um, he's just too humble. He's too prideful. This was... Too much. He's exactly how everybody described him to me. He's charitable. He's giving. And we spoke off camera and he just simply thinks that this car should go to someone else that needs it more than he does. Even though, you know, he's had bad luck with his cars and he's driving the one through the winter and, and stuff like that. He just, he wants to help other people. It's, it's literally exactly how everybody had described Link. So, uh, he's a very humble guy. We're going to continue to chat about this. That's basically what he was saying. You know, let's talk later and we will. Um, but I, I don't know where this is going to go. I don't know if Link is, is going to accept the car. I don't know. Maybe Link and I can come up with a plan together since he does work with other charities and stuff. I just, I have to make sure that whoever gets this car can afford, you know, $1,500 maybe a year in maintenance and repairs. So that's why I thought Link would be such a great candidate because he knows Subaru. He's been with the brand forever. He understands how finicky these cars are. Um, but, uh, but you know, who knows things happen for a reason and maybe Link and I can come up with a plan together, uh, and find someone else for the Subaru. So you guys are going to know soon, I think, uh, what's going to happen with the Subaru. But if you want quicker updates on anything, legit street cars, follow me on social media at legit street cars on Instagram and on Facebook. And if you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up, comment down below. What do you think of all of this? This is kind of weird and crazy. I don't think I've ever seen a video where someone said no to a free car, but uh, but it's happened here, so you've seen it here first. Uh, share the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Have a Merry Christmas, and I'll see all of you in the next video.